So if you're in the police recruitment process, you need to be ready for your final interview where one of the tough questions that you're going to get asked is what values or value are really important for police officers to have? What a question that is. So in this video, I'm going to help you answer that question. I'm going to help you come up with a structured approach that's going to enable you to absolutely nail down this question. So before we do though, if you're new to this channel, then welcome. Uh, my name is Brendan O'Brien. I'm the founder of Blue Light Consultancy. And over the past 28 years, I've been helping people to succeed in promotion boards, specialist interviews within the police, and over the past 12 years in the police recruitment process. I joined the police 38 years ago and enjoyed an amazing 28 year career there. And for the past 10 years, I've been helping mainly people just like you to succeed in the promotion process, sorry, in the recruitment process. Uh, a good 15,000 people now are in the police as a result of my support and also uh, several hundred people uh, who have helped through the promotion process. If you'd like to find a little bit more about the details, then yeah, check the links below. Uh, there's um, plenty there for you to take a look at, including, please do take a look at the Trust Pilot reviews. I'm so proud of them. Um, and thank you to the almost 600 people who have given me Trust Pilot reviews over the past two years. Um, amazing amount of thought goes into them. Not just, uh, I think Brenda's doing a great job, well done. You know, paragraphs, paragraphs and paragraphs sometimes. It's great. Thank you very much. From the heart. Anyway, so th the reason why I want to talk to you about values is because, one, they're important, and two, they get asked as a question all the time on interview boards, interview panels for the police recruitment process, and three, your answers are terrible. Honestly, they're awful. And we need to do something about it because there's every chance you're going to have an interviewer just going, oh, not another one. We don't want to be that person. We want to be the person who gets them on the edge of their seats thinking, wow, this is really, really good. I can really see this person on my team. As opposed to, oh, not another one who's just reciting the same old cliches of read in a book somewhere. Yeah, it doesn't work. Trust me, it doesn't work. I've been doing this for a long time. I used to have a warrant card in my pocket. A lot of people out there are doing this stuff helping people succeed or not in the recruitment process never been police officers never even worked in the police what what do they know <laughs> anyway whatever it's a weird old world we're in so what's the big mistake you're making right well you get asked that question and straight away you think oh competency and values framework i know i've seen some stuff on youtube that says i should talk about the values from the competency of values framework no just no I mean, please don't do that. The reason being is you're just going to sound really staged and rehearsed. So someone did this with me last night. I uh, was doing some one-to-one -one coaching with someone who's preparing for their interview in a couple of days' time and asked them that one question and what they came out with. Well, mm, let me remember. So there's honesty, uh, there's integrity, um, there's impartiality. Um, oh, what's the other one? Is it ownership and uh, being collaborative and... Um, there's something about being innovative as well. Yes, so those are the values that I think are important to be a police officer. And I could see, you know, her trying to read off the CVF in her eyes. <laughs> and I actually said to her after, we were you sort of trying to create an image of the CVF in your head? And she said, yeah, I was, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, just don't. Because you see how it sounds, it just sounds really rehearsed and it's not telling me anything about you. It's not telling me anything about you. And so more than several questions later from me, we had an awesome answer. One that is just going to be amazing. And it starts off with me asking the question, so what, what's the one value that your friends and your relatives and your loved ones would describe you as having that's in your core DNA? And it took a little bit of drawing out, but eventually we settled on... Um, being you can people can rely on me to do the right thing in very difficult or challenging circumstances they can absolutely rely on me now that links with integrity but can you see you're not starting off by saying oh integrity or listing off the four values from the cvf and getting confused about which ones are values and which ones are competencies which ones are just behaviors like being collaborative isn't a value it's a behavior and then you get even more confused because within the, the value of transparency in the cvf it talks about decision making when was decision making ever a value? I always thought that was a skill, a behavior that you demonstrate. But anyway, putting that to one side, that's why it's so confusing the CVF. No one understands it. Um, I understand it a little bit, but you know, that's because I've got a master's in education and I spent five years within the police 
sector working on these sort of things and these sort of projects nationally. I did a lot of work around this stuff about 20 years ago, um, <laughs> which means the CVF wasn't what we intended. Actually, it's 23 years ago now. The CVF was not what we planned, but anyway, it's what we, what, what we got. So anyway, where are we? I digress, and I do that often. Those who know me know I digress often. I have to draw myself back in. So yeah, what we're going to do is said, what we're going to. So if you ask that question, what values are important to police officers and why? What you're really going to say is, you're going to list off one or two values, the sort of values that you know you exhibit that other people would say about you, and you're going to talk about those being the values that are important, and then you're going to move on to say, and actually. The reason why these values are important is because, so you need to have an answer as to why, and then you can roll on to say, actually, you know, that first value, you know, integrity, that sense of people can rely on you to do the right thing in challenging or difficult circumstances, even when you don't have to do so. That That's me. You know, that's how my friends would describe me and how my loved ones would describe me. And I know that because I've actually asked them as preparation. And, uh, you know, to prepare for this process, I've actually asked them that question. And that's what they said. And it kind of ties in with what I've always thought of myself in terms of my core identity. And if it's OK, I'd like to share with you a time when I've actually demonstrated that um, value. Because that's likely to be their next question. If that's the value that's important, can you tell me about a time when you've demonstrated it? So you've beaten them to it. You've beaten them to it. And then you can talk about how... As a police officer in the future, this is how I, end, I intend to demonstrate this value. So you see now you've got this awesome, awesome answer to that question. But you're going to have to do a little bit of work on it, folks. You know, I've given you a very brief outline. There's so much detail that I show you about what goes into all those constituent parts to make sure that you just completely nail it, that you're going to sound authentic as well. You're not going to sound rehearsed. You're going to sound really, really authentic. And why? Because you're talking about a value that actually is inherently you. You're not playing games. They can work it out, you know. I mean, I used to do the interviews. I can work out BS. I can work out when I'm being cliched. I can work out when someone's BSing me. You know, these are operational sergeants and inspectors. And they don't pick complete duffers to do it. They pick their best inspectors and sergeants to do these interviews. So if you think you can walk in and try and BS them with, um, what's in the CVF you're wrong you're wrong and they'll fail you for it and why will they fail you well look we're not in uplift anymore we're not desperate for officers um, even during uplift, uplift only about according to the policing ministry only about one in ten succeeded we are going to return very quickly to the one in 15 then one in 20 you know they can pick and choose now they can pick and choose so those three years of, uh, yeah, come on down and join the police. We'll even accept you without interviewing you. That's all finished now. That's all finished. So we've got to get ready for these interviews. And if you're still watching this now, it means that you're really interested in the police recruitment process. Thank you for sticking with me. And I hope you've found it interesting. Um, if you have, then please do press that subscribe button that's somewhere around there somewhere. And there's also a little bell button so you can get notified of uh, a time when I publish another one of these videos and I'm dropping one of these every other day. And if you really want to find out how to succeed at every stage of the process, then check the links below. Come and join my webinars. Come and join my online course. Come and join my one-to-ones. I absolutely promise you, you'll find them amazing. If you don't, within 24 hours, let me know. Give you a refund. I've only given one of those over the past year. And if you fail and you've done the work I've asked you to do, I'll give you a refund. I've only done two of those over the past year. So it's a no-brainer for all of us, isn't it? No-brainer. Come and join me. I'll show you exactly what you need to do to succeed. And listen, I hope you found this useful. I look forward to seeing you, catching up with you uh, very soon. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.